Hello my beautiful gorgeous babes out there and welcome back to my channel and if you are new here thank you so much for tuning in but in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my morning skincare routine and pretty much how I prep my skin before I put on my makeup every day so I'm going to show you the products I use how I use them and why I use them and all that so let's just jump into this video all right guys so I have oily combination skin and I get very oily in my t-zone and on my chin over here as well as on my forehead but everywhere else like on the sides here sides of my temple area my eyelids are on normal skin I just have combination skin and I know a lot of us do I also have other concerns like discolorization from picking my skin acne scarring enlarged pores especially on my nose I do have some texture on my skin as well and I also am seeing, you know, fine lines, especially under my eyes, some, what is it called, cross hatching that's forming there. I do have a little bit of lines forming on the forehead, but that just coming comes with age. And as you get older, I'm in my 30s now, so I'm starting to notice things that I didn't notice when I was like younger and in my 20s. So I'm just going to get kind of close to you guys and see what I'm talking about. I have all this discolorization here um, on my chin. I'm gonna try to zoom in and have you guys see what I'm talking about. It's just, there's a lot of like skin spots here. I do have enlarged pores, especially over here and all that texture. So I just want you guys to see see what your girl is working with um and i also want to give a disclaimer what works for me may not work for you and what works for you may not work for me we all have different skin types unique you know needs our skin is all different some ingredients may work for me work really well for me and some ingredients might irritate your skin so these are just things that have worked for me i'm not a uh, like dermatologist or a you know skin professional these are just things I do as an amateur skincare lover basically so if there's products in here that you don't like or don't support that is on you this is just what works for me just wanted to give that disclaimer right there but let's just jump into now the products I'm talking about I use the micro delivery exfoliating facial wash from philosophy I think this is a great product I love how it smells really citrusy and this is the largest bottle they have and this is a daily facial cleanser that can also be used as a 30 second mini peel in the shower bath or at your bathroom sink and it's formulated with invigorating refreshing scent that citrusiness is so nice and my Micro exfoliating bees to gently polish and polish <laughs> and scrub away impurities in the buildup of dead skin cells, resurface skin texture, and reveal even toned, healthy looking skin, refine the look of fine lines and pores. Pretty much everything I need in a facial cleanser. So I use this every morning because I feel like it smooths my skin and makes it look really good and flawless under my foundation, and that's why I go in there with that. And I'm going to show you guys the tool that I use as well is one of these. This is from a brand called PMD. I will link it below if you guys want to check it out. But it's just a um, face scrubber. And it has different like vibration settings, slower, faster, pulsating. And then on this side right here in the plate part, it has where it heats up and it can get warm. So if you want to like vibrate it and have this get hot and then use your serums on top of that and like have it help absorb into the skin it's a great great product and i feel like this really helps my um skincare go deeper into my skin and help exfoliate better and also um you know take off all the oils and impurities out of my skin it's not necessarily necessary but it is a good added bonus to have one of these. I know that there's also like the Foreo brand, there's the Clarisonic scrubs. I mean, there's all different types. So all of them, you know, do pretty much the same thing by, you know, helping get dirt and impurities out of your skin, getting your skincare to sink, sink deeper into the skin as well. So this is what this product does for me. All right, so I'm just gonna get my skin wet here with some warm water and all that and then I'm gonna get my stuff here and it comes kind of comes out as like a clear 
texture and all that and then has like little micro and micro exfoliating beads inside of it so it's just like tiny tiny little scrubbies basically in there and i get that spread around in my face um that's my hand and then i'm gonna get my uh my little scrubber here and i put the vibration on i feel like it helps even more exfoliate the skin and just i work it all around the skin for about like 30 seconds be it for the exfoliation i'm gonna be right back and rinse my face off all right so after i do that i just rinse it all off you gotta make sure you rinse it like super thoroughly because it can leave like little exfoliating beads on your skin if you don't really rinse it well and then i just dry off my skin but uh, my skin feels so refreshed it smells so good Not like when you put it on with all that citrusy smell that they have in there and then after that i do go in with a cotton round and my witch hazel is what i use for my skin there's a bunch of different brands that you can use but basically this is what i like to use on my face I do want to get those like reusable cotton rounds so I can be better with the environment and stop purchasing these. So if you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below on where I could pick some of those items up. I just go in with the Witch Hazel, which I use as my toner. And I think it's like help calm my skin down, you know, helps calm a lot of things. The great thing about Witch Hazel is it's a natural astringent that's the word and it's good for face and body it's gentle relief for oily irritated red damaged blemished or inflamed skin so it has a lot of good health benefits and it is a natural product and that's why i love using witch hazel it feels so refreshing on the skin and it literally gets off anything that's left behind all right so after I finished doing my toner and all that with the witch hazel. I go in with a hydrating mist. Right now I've been using the Skin & Co. Truffle Therapy Illuminating Skin Refresh, Refresh Mist. I normally have used the Mario Baduscu uh, Rose Water one and the other ones from that line. But I ran out of those and I got this in a boxy charm. So I start using that. I just kind of switch it out. I don't have like a dedicated mist that I use. But I shake it up. And I go in and just spray everything. For that, I go in with a gel moisturizer. So I either use the Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Gel. Or I go in with the... Ooh, gosh, I'm dropping stuff. The um, Clinique Moisture, Moisture Surge. Oh, God, I hate saying that word. Uh face moisturizer so I either go on with gel moisturizers that's what I like to use because they're lighter on the skin not too heavy and because I already have oily skin I don't like to use a heavier moisturizer in the morning I usually do that at night but I just kind of rub that all in and make it feel nice and moisturize and just run it down my neck and everything after that I then go in with some kind of SPF product um, I've been using the Murad Oil Control Mattifying SPF 15. I use that on the skin. Um, if I'm going to be like out in the sun, like heavy, I'll show you guys what I'm going to use. I would go in with my Dermalogica uh, Dynamic Skin Recovery. It's SPF 50. So if I'm going to have a lot of sun exposure, I do this. But normally I'm indoors all day, so I'll go on with this one, with the SPF 15 one. And it also does have mattifying products to it. But the only thing about this one is it's pretty thick. Like it's a really thick consistency and it could possibly leave a white cast. Especially if you're like of a darker skin tone. I might leave that on the skin when you're trying to put makeup on. But I don't notice it shows through on my makeup at all. But I will just pat it all in and get that into the skin so I can have some kind of... Uh, sun protection and it's also mattifying so it's like two in one for me and then after I do that I go in with the Dermalogica Age Smart Multivitamin Power Firm Eye Cream it's so good for the eyes and it smells really nice but it's supposed to help 
what, what does that? Antioxidant, vitamin C and E helps improve elasticity and scavenge free radicals while silicone shield vulnerable skin against further assault. Unique botanical extracts help firm and minimize the appearance of fine lines and make great for makeup prep. So I don't know if you guys know, but there's a lot of eye creams or like skincare products that don't really look that good under makeup but this one right here works perfect under makeup i had like another eye cream that i was using and i feel like it would just like ball up or get funky underneath my concealer and i hated that but this one like goes on so smooth it doesn't disrupt your makeup in the slightest or change anything with your concealer or foundation so I am a big, big fan and it feels so hydrating and it has kind of like a fruity scent to it but I will go in there with for my my eye wrinkles, you know, trying to look younger, stay young. And then after that, I go in with my lip balm but in the morning I will just go in with this balm right here. This is the Rosebud Smith's Rosebud Self thing. I got this from Oak. Oh, no, from Sephora and I just used that. It's a nice thick balm that I like to put on my lips. And I go in like that. Because you know, your lips are also skin so you need to hydrate that as well. And it's a nice thick balm and it makes my lips feel so soft. But that is basically it for my morning routine. And then after that, I just go in with, you know, my primer and my makeup and everything. But I'm going to put my glasses on because your girl can't see. But whew, that is it. My skin feels super soft, super moisturized, and nice and refreshed and ready to go for a makeup application. And that is pretty much everything I do every morning to get ready before I put on makeup. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Let me know in the comments below uh, what you guys use in your skincare routine. If you have any recommendations or have any questions about the products that I'm using, I love hearing from y'all and all that good stuff but if you have not subscribed yet and you'd like to keep seeing my face hit that subscribe button if you enjoy these kind of videos give me a thumbs up i'd appreciate that as well but until next time bye guys